Hey guys, it's May May, and today I want to give you a top tip about tying a bow in Baker's with Baker's twine. Baker's twine is a product that has two different um, twines twisted together to give you this double color, but that twist can sometimes cause a problem when we're doing a bow. What I mean is sometimes if we tie our bow too tight before we adjust our bow, we'll, we'll kind of untwist this or get this to tighten up and our loops don't open like they should. So check this out. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take and tie a bow with my Baker's twine. I just leave it on the little um, spool until I know how much I need. So I'm just going to tie a bow by making a loop, wrapping around, and then this is just a bow. I'm not doing anything fancy. Here's where the fancy comes in. I'm not going to pull this very tight. See how that doesn't look like a bow at this point? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave that middle knot really loose so I can adjust without messing up the twist of the baker's twine. If I tie that knot too tight in the beginning, then it kind of distorts the twine itself and I can't get a good bow. If I leave it loose, I can adjust and make those loops where I want them to go. I'm going to show you the difference. I'm gonna, this is the way to do it. Keep that loop loose in the middle until you're where you want it and then tighten it. Okay, so now see how my loops look? I've got these really nice open loops. If I get my finger out of the way, you can see it. And I'm just going to snip it off and I want to show you the difference if I do it the other way. The other way is to tie it tight like you think you need to. So make a loop, tie a bow, pull it here and go ahead and pull it tight like this. Now when I go to adjust, watch what's going to happen. Because this knot in the middle is so tight, watch how this piece is going to twist over there. See how it kind of knots up and I really struggle working with that. Although look, it would be perfect this time, right, on camera. But if you do it too tight, you'll have a harder time adjusting that little loop. Let me do this side as well. It's nice and tight. See how it turned when I twisted it? I have a much harder time adjusting these loops because of how tight they are than if I do it loose, adjust, and then tighten. Although today on camera, look how perfect that bow is. Isn't that always how it is? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. If you've made these bows before and you've tied it tight, you know you have a hard time adjusting. So just be sure, keep the bow loose until you get it where you want it and then pull your loops really tight. And don't believe this lie because when you do this, it really does tighten up really tight. <laughs> Let me do another one. I'm not going to get rid of this one. That's a great bow. Let's do another one. See if I can make it mess up for me. All right. So I'll just tie a bow. Pull it super tight like you would think you'd need to, right? Pull it tight. Tighten it up. But the problem is when I go to adjust these loops, I get this twistiness. There it goes. See how it's twisty twisting? And I don't want the twisty twist. I want to leave that open. And this side did it too. I guess I just didn't pull that other one tight enough. Now I could fidget and make this bow work. I could mess with it enough. But you see how that's all twisted up? That's because my center knot was too tight for me to adjust it. So keep that center knot loose and you can make all those adjustments and then pull it tight. Don't believe this lie. <laughs> How is that? It's like if your car messes up and you go to the mechanic and you can't make it do it again. That one looks really good. But you can see the difference here in this one, the way it's all twisty there. And I'd have to do a lot of work to get it fixed. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching today's top tip. And don't forget, subscribe to this channel because when we reach 100,000 subscribers, we're having a giveaway. We're going to give one lucky winner their choice of electronic cutting machine, a Cricut, a Brothers Scan and Cut, or silhouette. All you need to do is get us to 100,000 by subscribing and then we'll have our giveaway. Thanks so much for watching. Come back every Monday and Friday for more top tips. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.